one that usually takes caffeine very regularly just because I'm a hyper responder to it. It can sometimes crack me out a little bit much. But since we are getting deeper into the cut, I'm going to be starting to take some of this Godzilla. This is probably the best pump formula in the entire supplement industry. For one scoop, caffeine is actually pretty low. It's 175 milligrams, but there is so much in here, guys. I seriously recommend you go to the Rise page and check out all the ingredients. Best pre-workout formulation on the market right here. You can either take one scoop or you can take two scoops for max dose. And this stuff is absolutely delicious. So be sure to go cop some, code BDON for 15% off. What is going on, you guys? All right, since I'm so bad at making YouTube videos, right now we are closer to six weeks out than seven weeks, uh, but that's okay. I'm gonna tell you guys what's going on. Cut's going really well. Um, I've dropped my calories to about uh, 3,000 right now. I'm still losing about a pound a week, and I'm going to start uh, implementing cardio uh, here pretty soon. Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, look at what I've been doing uh, when I train my abs. Uh, what I noticed is that last prep, I completely ignored uh, training my abs, and I feel like my abs sort of lost a lot of uh, definition, uh, a lot of control on stage. Um, and so I've been training my abs a lot more, so hopefully Hopefully they come in uh, better when we step on stage this year, um, but I don't know. It's going to be interesting, and these are pretty much the exercises that I've been doing, and I do about three sets um, of each one of them every single day. So I'll pick one of the exercises, do three sets of that, and then the next day I'll pick another exercise, and then I'll do that one. All right, so the first exercise that we are going to show here is the BOSU ball sit-up. I absolutely love this one. Do not be fooled. It may look really, really easy, but it's actually very, very difficult. I really like how you can arch your back so much and get a really good stretch on your abs and then crunch all the way up. Guys, seriously, it looks ridiculously easy, but it's incredibly hard. Definitely one of my favorite ab exercises. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, after that, uh, we're gonna go to like this reverse crunch leg raise on a bench. I really like doing these. It hits a little bit more to the lower abs. Um, and then I push my feet upwards when I get to the top and that sort of engages uh, my upper abs. But I really like doing this one as well. And then for the last exercise that you're gonna see that I'm doing here is I do oblique sit-ups on the decline sit-up machine. Now this is the only exercise that I do that targets my obliques. I really, really like it. You put like your right foot in the left foot spot on the decline bench and then you go back down and you'll try to get like 15 on one side and then 15 on the other side. This is also a pretty difficult movement. So start off at a lower incline, obviously, if you are going to uh, do this for the first time. I got this in the mail yesterday, I believe. Super cool, whole strength flag in Christ alone, 1 Corinthians 10.31, whole strength. That is just super awesome. I'll probably have to find a better place to put it because it doesn't really flow exactly with the room having it right there, but I will find a better place. So I pretty much haven't done any cardio up until this point uh, that's been like, you know, regimented in the gym on the Stairmaster cardio since I try to avoid it um, until I'm deeper into my cut because it's not super sustainable and I don't really like doing it. Um, so personally, I think I'm gonna start off with about 15 minutes on the Stairmaster. Um, every single workout going at a slow pace, probably like 70 steps per minute. Um, and I'm gonna do that for about the 15 minutes. Earlier this week, we would like play ping pong and we actually went for like a little hike and I'll probably continue to do those types of things, but we're just adding in a little bit more cardio just to help the fat loss um, as we get deep into prep here. So since calories have started to get a little bit lower, I have started implementing a ton more fiber into my diet. I'm eating like 100 grams of fiber every single day, which I don't recommend for everybody. I feel pretty good doing it, but a lot of people would definitely struggle with that much fiber uh, in their diet. So I've been eating a ton of carrots, uh, a ton of greens, uh, but then probably the biggest uh, diet hack uh, that I have implemented lately has been these carb balance tortillas. So they're 70, calorie e 70 calories each, uh, and they just have an absolute ton of fiber in them. So yeah, there's only four net carbs per tortilla, but that's because, uh, let's see here, the total carb is 19 grams, fiber is 15 grams, and so obviously you subtract 15 from 19, and you only get four carbs. So those things are absolutely delicious. If you guys are cutting, I seriously recommend on getting some of those. Mm -hmm. 